welcome to another episode of Interview with an Author. Cynthia Clement, me, author. And I'm going to answer a few questions today that I got asked by way of my website, CynthiaClement.com. You can ask questions there at Cynthia at CynthiaClement.com or you can post comments on the website, I think. I think I figured that out. I may not have. Email me at Tynthia at TynthiaClement.com. So anyway, let's get started. What is my favorite food? Hands down, ice cream. Never met ice cream that I didn't like. I'll even eat Tutti Fruity. And what's that one with the little pieces of candied fruit in it? I'll eat that if I have to. If I were on a desert island and that was the only ice cream, then I would eat that. Ben and Jerry's came out with a great flavor this summer. Blueberry graham cracker. Oh, so good. I only found it once, but I dream about it at night. So that is my favorite food, ice cream. I'd eat it 24-7 if I could. Um, am I a morning person or a night owl? I am a reluctant night owl. I suffer from insomnia lately. Uh, the last two years, I've been hit with it pretty hard. Used to suffer from it when I was younger, and now it's come back. I'm at my most creative in the morning. I drag my butt out of bed around 5 o'clock, make a nice cup of coffee, and sit down to write. And I'll write typically till about 9. So I'm most creative in the morning for writing. If I'm painting, because I do paint acrylics, I'm most creative in the early evening from painting. Reading, I'll read at night. My peak time of day, though, where I just rock, is from about 2.50 to 3 o'clock, and then I crash. So I have that 10-minute window where I could pretty much jump over the moon. And um, that's when I'm recording this video, actually, in that little 10-minute <laughs> window. So I'm not really a morning night owl. I'm, I just go with the flow as how my life is going. Okay, do I listen to music while writing? I don't. I find it distracting. I do have songs that inspire the story. The Summer of Anna, A Midsummer's Wish, which is available on Amazon, by the way. Um, certain songs inspired me. A couple of Rob Thomas songs, um, Matchbox 20, Patsy Cline, Crazy, was featured in the book. So I do have music that inspires the story. Sorry, I'm looking out the window because my heron is coming in for a landing. Cool. I do have music that inspires the story, but I don't listen to music while I'm writing. The only music I have while I'm writing is the sounds of the river waking up, the birds, the ducks, Hawks, that's my music. Um, let's see, what are three words that describe me? Three words that describe me. I'm sensitive. I don't have a tough skin yet, especially for writing. I take criticism to heart. And when I don't get reviews from people, I think, oh, they didn't like the book, so they're not willing to review it. By the way, if you've read my book, The Summer of Anna, Midsummer's Wish, and you haven't left a review yet on Amazon, please do. I'm stuck at 32 reviews right now. As of September, I need glasses, 23rd. Please leave a review, even if it's a one-star review. Just leave me a review. I want to know what you think. And if you haven't read The Summer of Anna, would you please read it? You can download free pages on Amazon. And there you go, a little incentive. All right, I need two more words that describe me. I'm authentic. I'm pretty much true to my nature. I'm, I try to be kind. I'm brutally honest. That all comes under the heading of authentic. So I'm authentic, I'm sensitive, and I'm impatient. I do. I lose my patience. I try not to lose my patience easily, but lately it's been tough. I, I don't like seeing people abused. Uh, the other day I was at Dunkin' Donuts and a customer was abusing the girl behind the counter. That just made me so angry, so I had to speak up. Um, so is, does that come under impatience? That's not really impatient. There's Stevie barking. 
That's not really impatient. I have no patience for people abusing other people. I will step in and I will fight the good fight to stop the abuse. Does that come under being kind? So there are a bunch of words. I don't know. I like just being authentic. How's that? Can I just have one word to describe me? All right. Last question. What are your favorite books or who is your favorite writer? I have three favorite books. Dandelion Wine by Ray, Ray Bradbury. There I am. Remember, unscripted. Um, the Secret Garden, and I can't think of the author right now. And To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I did not like the sequel. It should not have been published, in my humble opinion. Um, did not like it. Read the first chapter and said, nope, sticking with the original To Kill a Mockingbird. Didn't even like the sequel that Bradbury wrote to Dandelion Wine. Um, stick with Dandelion Wine. If somebody banished me to a desert island and I could only take three books with me, those are the three that I would take, and then I would sneak, like put it in a padding or something, like put it in my pants, How to Survive on a Desert Island for Dummies. But those are the three books that I would take and hope that maybe I could still survive on the desert island. So that's it for this episode of Interview with an Author. I do hope you'll send me questions. You can send them to Tynthia at TynthiaClement.com. You can send them by way of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Skywrite it. I'm everywhere. So I do hope you'll read The Summer of Anna, Midsummer's Wish. I hope you'll look for my new book that's coming out in December, You Gave Me Wings, Awakening. And I hope to see you soon or hear from you soon. I hope you have a blessed day. Ciao.